How cool is that? Just got this online. A friend of mine found it for me. It's like the old accordion style. Just need a flash up here that'll and like have like a mini explosion. How cool would that be? But no, that's that's cool. That's very cool. All right. So your sister or best friend is getting married and she just asked you to be her maid or matron of honor. Now what do you do? So as the maid or matron of honor, you have such an important role in the day for keeping the stress level on the bride down. Um, the number one thing that you should know that you're in charge of is making sure people are following that day's agenda, getting where they're supposed to be on time, and doing the things they're supposed to be doing at the right times throughout the day. A huge stressor for a bride can be wondering where her bridesmaids are. Are they running late to hair and makeup? What, you know, what's going on? So it's your job to stay on top of that so that the bride doesn't have to worry about it. She can just focus on her day. Number two is making sure that you keep that bride fed throughout the day. Make sure she eats. She's going to be very nervous. So there's a good chance she's not going to want to eat. You make sure she does have some snacks, get some food in her so that she can have energy for the day and, and just be in her best frame of mind throughout the day. Next, is drunk patrol. It is your job prior to the wedding and all the way up until the reception to make sure that the alcohol intake is limited. Not there shouldn't be any, but that it's at least limited. Make sure no one goes above and beyond what, what, what they should be doing before the wedding so that they don't, the one thing that can ruin a wedding real quick is a sloppy drunk member of the bridal party coming down the aisle making a fool of themselves you're in charge to make sure that doesn't happen. Next is just, you know, make sure you have a few things around for the bride that she would like, especially if there's a treat type of drink that she likes, aspirin, Tylenol, you know, Pepto-Bismol, anything that could be important to her, bring that with you. Uh, there's a good chance other people don't have it, but you being her number one sidekick, her, her right hand that day, make sure you bring it. Maybe she likes gummy bears. Maybe she likes uh, peppermints. Bring those things, have them there for, again, we're just trying to make this day as comfortable as possible for and to alleviate as many nerves as possible. Another important thing you're gonna do that day is, is help get the bride dressed. You know, that's gonna be helping tie up the shoes, helping her button up the back of the dress. She asked you to be her maid or matron of honor because you're that close with her, either your sister or cousin or a best friend that she's known her whole life. She wants you involved in that. You'll, there'll be pictures of that taken. Um, so you know, make sure you're around and ready for her when that moment comes and that it's time to put her in the dress. So you're also gonna be in charge of the groom's ring leading up to the wedding. It's gonna be very important that you have that convenient for when the photographer, videographer needs it to create some images. It's also gonna be very important that you don't forget it headed to the, uh, to the ceremony. So make sure it's in a place that you'll be able to find it easily and uh, keep up with it throughout the day. One thing you should also plan to be ready to do is drop off items at the reception that are, that are important. Um, there might be things from the bridal suite that the bride needs taken to the reception area. There might be um, gifts that need to make it to the reception area. That's gonna be a job that you should take on so that, again, the, another thing the bride just does not have to worry about is getting things that are important to her from the from the bridal suite or wherever you're getting ready from the, from the ceremony and getting those things over to the reception. And um, you know, the biggest thing that I will tell you is make sure that you always remember throughout the day that it's her day. It's not about, you know, it's not about the bridesmaids. It's not about you as the maid of honor or matron of honor. It's about her day. Your number one job is to be there for her 150%. You just stay there with her. Anything she needs to make her more comfortable, you get it for her. Make her life as easy as possible for the entire day. She will thank you and it will make her wedding something she will never, ever forget. So congratulations on being selected to be the maid or matron of honor. It's a huge responsibility and a huge honor. There's a reason you were selected for it. So enjoy it, embrace it, 
and just uh, remember, make everything as smooth as possible for your bride that day. I'm Jeff Dobson with J. Richard Photography. We'll see you next time.